everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Everyday Whiskey. I'm Mike. And I'm Dan. And today we are doing a showdown, essentially, with the 2022 Twice Barrel release and the 2023 Twice Barrel release. The 2023 being their Twice Barreled Rye. Initially finished in New Charred Oak and then secondary barreled in their Heritage Barrels. The Heritage Barrels for Jack Daniels essentially are heavily toasted and lightly charred, which goes against the, no pun intended, goes against the grain of what they normally do. Yes. This creates a super new, unique flavor, according to them. We're here to find out if that's true or not. Yep. But we definitely wanted to see which release was better. They started doing the twice barrel releases, the 700 ml bottles, last year. Uh, and we want to see if they got it right the first time, or if this is the better release. Yep. This being the American Single Malt Finish and Sherry Cast, this is just finished twice in oak. And before any of you keyboard commandos get a little trigger happy down in the comments, we are not comparing them to one another. They will be judged individually, and mm -hmm. then it will just be a comparison of our personal preference Which as one we to like what better. we like better. Exactly. This is not a side-by-side, -side because obviously they're very, very different, and the only thing they share in common is being twice better. It's like comparing potatoes to canaries. Yes. We're not doing that. No. Now that that's out of the way. All right. Let's go. And we're actually going to finish this bottle... On, on camera. camera, possibly, maybe. No, it looks, it looks like. So it's it always looks like there's more. There really isn't that much in the bottom. Really? Of the See, no. I was gonna say the opposite. Sometimes it looks no, like there's, there's really less, and much. it turns out to be a lot more. Like, watch. Well, that's that's all you got left. It's actually gonna be perfect. Where is it? There it is. There you awesome. go. Awesome. That's perfect. it. So yeet. <laughs> yeah, yeet. All right, so that's it for the 2023 Jack Daniels Twice Barreled American Single Malt. Finish and Sherry Cast. That's the last I'm saying that. <laughs> uh, so this was already rated from... This was in our Whiskey of the Year last year. Yes, it was. Um, it, it made it very far. It made it to the finals. It lost Penelope Toasted. It did. Again. <laughs> uh, this year, I think a Penelope might win again. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. There might be something else out there. I think Mike found something that might be kind of comparable. We did. Uh, which There's we're not going to... also gonna... the... Uh, yeah, the other one. Which you have to watch our TikToks to, find, to see, like... This is only, like, 25% of the actual reviews we do. Watch the TikToks and you'll see every other bottle that might wind up in the in the Whiskey of the Year bracket challenge we're doing in, yeah. you know, in a couple Dan, months here. Dan does a lot on the side with that. And I'll chime in here and there with those. But usually I'm busy yeah. with this stuff, editing this. Um, but again, there's a lot of bottles that we might not feature on here, or we haven't gotten to featuring on here it yet. It takes a while. That we'll put up on, on the Rapid Whiskey Review. But this was a 9.1. It was rated a 9.1. I did it again this year, rated it again this year. It was a 9.1, so we're sticking yeah. with it. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, it hasn't really changed much. No, it's probably, it's my favorite nose out of any of the releases. Yes, and it's hot enough where, like, it's not oxidizing. No, it's 100. It's not oxidizing too much, despite 106.6. Despite it being so low. That's still fantastic. Ooh. Yeah. It's funky. It's fruity. It's got... I was say, you get a lot of fruit on the back end. Yeah, it, and it's nice. obviously, it's oxidized a bit because it's all the way down here. I mean, I, I don't think it really has. I think this held its... It held, held up, up you think, well. a little bit? Yeah. It's definitely more fruity than I remember. I mean, also, it's only been a year's time. Most bottles we don't finish within a year. I mean, most bottles still some have... Some of these have been sitting... Like, and people always say, like... like not in them. <laughs> yeah, they've been... Yeah, they've been sitting around for years, some of them. Yeah. And all I do, and, like, whether this works or not, I just turn the bottle upside down and back just to soak the cork to make sure it's not going to dry rotted. As far as combating against air, like, the, if you want to get real fancy, you could put argon gas yeah, in there I'm to, like... Yeah, I'm not that fancy. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. It's just, you know, it changes, it changes... I'm not so a sommelier, so I'm not that that particular. Mm. This is just—it's fantastic, and you actually get a little bit of like—I um, would say like chocolate too now. Yeah, Which a little I, bit. Yeah, this re its really nice. Uh, Despite it being a single malt, it really sticks pretty close to those traditional Jack because it's that peanut oil note too. Jack, like you uh, still get that tinge of out. peanut oil. You do a little bit um, somehow. Uh, but yeah, Jack definitely went way out on a limb with this one, and I hundred percent got mixed mixed yeah. results. Like, I met some people that were totally turned off the idea; they didn't want to even go near it. It wasn't true, Jack Daniels, yada yada yada. But I think this is what Jack has to do mm -hmm. to keep like growing, essentially. Keep relevant. And like, this is great. I love this. They're they're really starting to get into rise. Yeah, they just released a cash train right here. This I, was this will be a new mainstay. This is not <laughs> a limited release. Yep. All right, so let's get into what you guys have been waiting for, what you've been sitting through us rambling yeah. to get to. So, just with a, a like a, a like a small side note here, 
So our buddy Anthony Riccardi, aka the Bourbon Whiskey Library, yep. on a high recommendation says, and I quote, "I'll we can pull up the you know the comment. <laughs> this is something special." Now, didn't he say that about the other one, the Coy yeah, Hill? But, but, the, <laughs> but the one that he sent us was good. It was good. It was in, very in his defense, good. It was good. Ours there was, was a big, very bad. There was a big difference between what was it, barrels or batches? The barrels. The barrel. Yeah, they're well, it's all bad. It's a barrel. I don't know. Whatever happened, whatever reason, his right. bottle was way better than ours. Let's do this. Ah! I'm waiting to do that. Last time, and this one, this cork H-E-R broke. Limited bottle. The cork broke on this thing. This is a regular single barrel cork in this thing. You can register these at Jack Daniel's website. I don't know what happens when you do that, but that's kind of cool. Barbus Trizan shows up. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Register. There you go. I don't know what it does. I'm very excited for this. I've been waiting two weeks to drink this. Maybe more than that. Maybe four weeks to drink this. Uh, yeah, four. So I've been waiting a month to drink this because I wanted. To... I'm really, really surprised you have not broken into. Well, this. I wanted like an authentic reaction on camera for the both of us because we were gonna do it last episode. Then we didn't. We didn't feel. Yeah. So three weeks. Oh my god. Your nose is good. Oh my god. Ooh. 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 Dude, that's nuts. It's maple syrup. It's just maple syrup. Yeah, that smells just like... Dude, that's, that's a little sweet. Rio. There's a little Rio there. <clears throat> it is. Oh, man, I'm getting excited for this one. How does that work? It's just oak. I'm it's get, I mean, if you, take, a... if you take short, deep snips, you get the oak. But, like... It's almost like the toasted, the Penelope toasted, too. Yeah, it's, it's... These aren't finished and toasted barrels, but... Hmm... That smells fantastic. And just so if you hear us say that's a Rio, that's our barometer for best whiskey. Yeah. Like that that Penelope right now Rio. is the best whiskey you could get this year is Penelope Rio. So far. I really hope the palate holds up to this. This, this is a, this is a freaking 9.8 nose. Yeah. This is fantastic. This All right, cheers. Great. Let's get into this. That is. Hmm. Dude, it's fruity. It's like blackberries, black cherries, no maple. No. It's like raisin, too. It goes, it's raisin. No kick I'm at all. I'm getting a sweetness, a little caramelly. So we're at 100 proof here, 50%. It's 50%. That's a, oh, just choked. Um, That's a good proof. I, I like 100 proof. Yeah. I think 100 proof is really where I'm starting to settle in. You know, for a while, I thought I was a more than that. Dude, this but is... The hundred is seems to be the This key. tastes like remember the red box of raisins when we were growing up? The the little box of raisins where you had the Oh this when you're a kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what it tastes like. It does. This is so good. Hmm. Jack Daniel Spice Barrel Rye has entered the arena. This is fantastic. every time it gets better. It's fantastic. Grape? Grape must. Maybe. Kind of it, it it tastes almost like that Eagle Rare pick my store did. The last one we bought. It does. Sim- it is similar. It's got that really great... There's meat. more going on. It's so this. fruity. There's no... You wouldn't know this was a rye. There's no way. No, this does not taste like a yeah, rye at all. It's so fruity for a rye. This is I'm crazy. getting no rye spice. This is thing. why... I, this is why we wanted this really... Twice better. Dude, there's nothing that I don't think is going to change... Oh, in our hand, man, these are heavily toasted barrels. Dude, I, I, it's that. This is the best. I'm gonna say this right now, and someone can agree or disagree. This is the best release to me. Out of their releases, yeah. To, you know what I'm saying? Out of the yeah. Jack Daniels releases, this is the best. That's it, what I'm saying. Out of Jack Daniels, I'm, yeah. I'm, I think I'm inclined to agree with that one. This is a good one. I don't know. It's not hitting me as well as it's hitting you. I love this, dude. It's great. Oh, well, get my candy apple on the nose now. That's a good way. Candy apple. over for a second schnip. It's like when Dave Porter grabs a second slice of pizza. You really gotta test the crisp. I dude, I, I I don't know how you're not getting what I'm getting. I think I'm this getting is, the raisiny part, like the dry. I, but fruit. I know I'm just saying that I think this is fantastic. It's good. It's not knocking my socks off like it is with you. I could be compromised. I've been a little stuffy lately. Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, I just like. I don't, this is not what I was expecting, that's why. I'm thinking rye, I'm thinking, like, the barrel proof Well, rye. that's what's really throwing me for a loop. I'm trying to yeah. find rye notes in this, and I can't. There's not one. <laughs> like, I think you, maybe if you want to stretch and say you get, like, this small anise note at the back end of the palate. A little bit. But that's it. There's no traditional, which is weird. But, I think that's, but, I'm, but it's, I'm welcomed by it. No, no, that's awesome, because, like, it just kind of goes <clears> in suit with these releases. Like, these, yeah. like, don't taste like they're supposed to. 
No. Like, this didn't give me very much single malt vibes compared to other single malts that I've had. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I... I think this is a killer. I really it do. It is good. Are they, like I said, it's better than this. Definitely better than I think that. it's better than that. I like, like it better than... This. I, 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 yeah, no. I, I This one, I wasn't... I, I did not... I didn't not like it. Like I said, we gave it a 9-1, but it just... This one's better, I think. Yeah, personally. so if we're going like, this is 9-1... I, I we would, we'll do our scores. Well, we gotta average it. We'll average it out. Yeah. Like I'm, this is roadstock rye to me. I would not go that high. I, I'm not. I would say I'm not. So that, that was high. a nine six. I'm nowhere near a nine six. I'm at a nine four here. I can. I'm like. I'm like at like an eight eight. <laughs> All right. So eight eight nine four. Nine one or no? It, well, no, I yeah, because this is a nine one. It's so, gotta like, be better than that because it is better than that. So we'll no. call it no, no nine four eight eight nine point two is relatively, you know, and like obviously, it is like I said, this is nine one. That's what we rated at nine two makes sense for this. Yeah, I like you said, like if I like my personal rating, I think is this is I wouldn't say leaps and bounds better, but it's a significant now, improvement do you have any the house is haunted vibes going on since you were told by anthony that this is the greatest no thing actually because well, he told me a month ago i really okay. wasn't thinking about it he, right. and he didn't say it was a crazy thing he just said it was a special well, it, was, it was a yet. special release so no 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 not at all okay I, I, I just i think my reaction is because when you th- it's very good i'm not lying that it's not i've good. had jacked i've had almost every rye release they've released and they all are rise they're true yeah. and true rise super herb like super yeah, this herb- really deviates <laughs> from that trail they're super herbaceous. Uh, they're not fruit forward. They're very, no, you know, not at all. Never. You, know, you almost get like I said, like that anise note to most yeah. of them, and you get that like uh, like a slight spice, a spice, not spice, but uh, the <coughs> peanut, peanut oil is still there. Ooh, uh, yeah, the peanut oil note's still there too. But this is if you're thinking like you know barrel, you know barrel strength rye they just released or the traditional single barrel rye. It's not even close no. to the same thing. Well, no, it's de- it's leaps and bounds above the yeah. single the single. So that's rise. what I'm saying. Like this is definitely like this needs to be in consideration for whiskey of the year. And oh, I think it can. I think it's I think it's a nine like minimum nine two. Yeah, easily. I'm content with that. Yeah, I'm content there. So uh, the 2023 release beats out. We're gonna play that back. <laughs> the 2023 <laughs> twice barrel release beats <laughs> out the 2022 <laughs> twice barrel release. <laughs> The 2022 beats the 2022. 2023 beats 2022. Whatever. All right. This one wins. It won. Okay. Yeet. Goodbye. This one. It's, I would say it's the second best ride I've had all year. What are you putting up it against for the first? The Sagamore. The double. Oh, yeah. The Sagamore double oak. We didn't review that one yet, did we? Well, uh, I did it. It's, it's, on, it's, on, it's, on, on, it's on YouTube. Yeah, we got to bring that one onto this shot. That was. Yeah, so that one actually has a lower oh. rating just by a little bit. But yeah. Mike, when he tried it, if we had done that on the channel and aggregated it, you could flip our reactions right now and pretty much get what we got. That, yeah, that. That so, that's, so that bottle pretty awesome. much stacks up against this, but right now. And like Mike's gonna trim a lot of the fat of this episode. There's been a lot of rambling. I might. It's been co- cohesive. It's been, yeah, rambling, it's been relatively but... cohesive. But yeah. uh, this is really, as Anthony said, it's special. Yeah, and it definitely I think is. again, I think this release is gonna be massively de- like divisive. I think. Well, yeah, we just proved it. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm I'm absolutely my socks are blown off. Socks have made holes in the roof. Yeah, like and Mike's just like, yeah, this is good. So an eight eight solid like no not very good. If anyone wants to see our scoring, like just so you know, if it's six point nine or less, it means we really don't like it. Yeah, and we don't have the heart to say this is this trash. Seven point one to seven point nine means yeah, this is great. It's solid. We like this a lot. And obviously, C's get degrees, baby. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. C's get degrees, and then. 8.1 8.1 to 8.9, or 8.1 to 8.5 means extremely good. Oh, you yeah. know, you need to buy this. You know, 8.5 to 8.9 means this is, like, you need to have this on your shelf. Why haven't you bought this? And anything over a 9 means that yeah, it is, you know, that's, that's rarefied air. It, you're not going to get much better than that. No. So 9.2 for this makes sense to me. So, uh, but yeah, it's just one of those things, like, they're only doing it one time. If you can get it, grab it, especially this one. This is crazy. Definitely. Uh, and like very dynamic re- re- like reactions for us, but all right, let's take this home now. If you've made it this far, thank you for yeah, watching. Let's do that. We want you to do several things here. Please like, comment, subscribe to this channel. It helps us out greatly. And 
please join us in two weeks for another episode. Cheers. Cheers.